Hey guys, this morning the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club is loading up, traveling from Orlando, headed north to do the Florida Adventure Trail. So come ride with us. After what feels like a very long wait, the Florida Adventure Trail is finally here. And the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club has been dying to get out there and see it for ourselves. The trail is more than 1,200 miles long, so we're going to break this into several trips. Now, at the time of this trip, the Florida Adventure Trail has only been open for about 45 days. A lot of folks haven't even heard about it yet. So if that's you, you can learn more about it at FloridaAdventureTrail.com. Now, we're not affiliated with the FAT, the Florida Adventure Trail, in any way. But we love this project and we fully support all of the great folks over there who've spent more than six years putting this together. So big, big thank you to all of the folks over at the FAT team. And now hopefully we can turn around and help them by getting out there and getting some videos so that everybody can get an advanced look at these trails before they hit them themselves. Now right now, almost all of the videos are focused on the east side of the trail. Our group, the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club is based in Central Florida, and that means that the trails that we're targeting in the Panhandle are more than six hours of highway driving away. And that is a lot of highway driving for one day, especially in a Jeep. So we opted to stop at one of the waypoints that you can find on the FAT map, the Florida Caverns State Park. And we've talked about stopping at this place for years, and well, this trip gave us a natural opportunity to break up all of the day's driving and finally get a chance to explore this natural wonder. The Florida Caverns are about four and a half hours from Orlando. So we met up at 9 a.m., got on the road, and this turned out to be a great break in our day. It gave us a chance to stretch our legs, get some fresh air before getting back on the road. If you'd like to see more about our time at the Florida Caverns, we've made a separate video for that. You can find a link for that video in the description for this video, or you can find it on the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club page on YouTube. Spotify works today, so I can't Is that service 
for whatever reason, Spotify works. I can't make a phone call. I can't send. I can't send a video. Boys, yeah, music. I'm getting notifications of like my cameras at home. Yeah, I'm getting notifications of my cameras at All right, today is Saturday. We're ready to get going. Uh, we're just finishing up, packing up the last of our stuff here. We ended up with a pretty good camp spot. I mean, look at this. When we came in last night, it was dark and we couldn't really see what was uh, going on, but we'd watched the videos in advance and we knew that this was where we wanted to camp. And so when we came in last night, it was dark. We couldn't see the water. There was a lot of fog uh, setting right there. So all we knew is that the water should be there, but we couldn't see it because of the fog. And then we wake up this morning to this. It's not bad, not bad. So if you're looking for a camp spot out here, we'd recommend this. We've counted uh, 18 camp spots here. When you come in, it, it comes in, the road just comes in like this. It comes out onto a point, just comes around. It's a big loop and starting right on the as soon as you start the loop, the campsites start. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we're down here in the campsite 1415 area. Uh, and, and look at it. You, know, you come down a few more this direction. Uh, when you get to 18, it backs up right to the boat ramp. So this morning when we opened up, opened up and we're coming out, uh, there were guys putting in their little fishing boats and coming out. And then you can see this is where they... They come out in their fishing boats and go out into the lake. So this has been a great camp spot. So this morning we'll uh, we'll finish packing up. We're almost done. Then we'll head out of here. We're only about five miles south of the west end of the Florida Adventure Trail. So we'll come out of here. We'll head up five miles. We'll catch the Florida Adventure Trail right at the state line. And then we'll start coming back down. We'll come right back past this campsite and, uh, and see how far we can get on the Florida Adventure Trail today. So.
Okay, so we've run into our first issue of the day. We've come down the trail, we're following the map, the Florida Adventure Trail, and then we kind of get to a point where right here is where the trail goes. This is where you're supposed to drive. And it goes right into a gate. I don't know if you can see, but right in here, there's a gate. The trail is completely overgrown and there's a closed gate. I don't know if you guys can hear on the video, small arms fire and on the tree here, uh, there it is right there. Oh my God, warning, firearms do not enter. So uh, we can't go any further right there. Now there is another road right David, this direction. Vehicle, um, and we've sent some scouts down that way. Uh, we found some more road, but they're running into dead ends and they can't get to the, the end or the beginning of the Florida Adventure Trail because we've either got dead ends overgrown sections like this or closed gates. So this is what we're gonna call uh, the beginning or the end of the trail, however you wanna look at it. And uh, this is just kind of where we're gonna start the trail and head south. Now we had hoped to be able to get all the way up to the, uh, the Florida state line. That's where the trail is supposed to officially start or end, however you wanna look at it. This would be the far west end of the trail um, and that's really where we wanted to be able to to get you know our footage from but yeah as you can tell there's still gunfire going on here it's just not safe and uh, as much as we love off-roading it's just not worth putting uh putting ourselves at risk so we're going to turn around this point right here uh, we're going to consider the west end of the trail uh, we'll reach out to the folks uh, at the Florida Adventure Trail, let them know what we saw, and uh, and see if maybe some adjustments need to be made to the trail. Uh, that's one of the things that we got to take into consideration. I mean, when you're creating trails like this, um, there's some things that may not be 100% uh, from day one. So there may need to be some adjustments as you go along. Uh, as people go out and they uh, take a look at the trails and we ride them, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to come along and say, hey, maybe this isn't uh, exactly where we want it to be and we make some adjustments like that. So I think that that's the thing to do. We're going to go, go ahead and get everybody lined up and heading south. And uh, we'll just go from here and uh, we'll get some good footage and, and show you guys what this end of the trail looks like. Uh, except we're not going to go all the way to the state line here. Uh, not this time around. Maybe next time. Once we were able to get back home and get on a computer, we could get a better look at what we had done. We had started out down here at um, Hurricane Lake, taking this blue trail up about 12 miles to this point here where we uh, turned around. So now that we're on the computer, we can actually take a look at what we've got here and we can clearly see what we were up against. This is this is the area that we could not get through because it was overgrown and fenced. And if you follow this road in, this is where the current Florida Adventure Trail would take you. This is the Altus Shooting Solutions gun range. It's uh, designed to allow up to 12 different active shooting ranges at one time. And this road goes right into two of the active ranges. So this is clearly not what we wanted to do. Um, from this pivot point down here, from this point where we had stopped, we'd sent out scouts kind of heading back east. As you can see on the map, there's not a whole lot for them to be able to get there. And so that didn't really work out. They came back, couldn't find anything. I'm so glad that we decided not to go through there um, and do that. So we've reached out to the Florida Adventure Trail folks. They're taking a look at this. Um, you can kind of see this is the path that we had taken. But what we've recommended to them is that when you, you come up this road, this is actually a Bullard Church River Road that kind of comes along and bends this way. You take a right right here. This is onto Mashburn Forks Road, and this follows up to here and essentially is going to take you into trouble. So what we've recommended to the Florida Adventure Trail folks is let's not take this right here onto Mashburn Forks Road. Let's skip this. Instead, just continue to follow Bullard Church River Road around until it gets um, over here to this road. This is McCoy Road. And if you were to come in 
take this right and just take McCoy Road up, then you can see it's going to take you safely past the gun range and right up to the state line. So that's what we were recommending to them. We've not heard back as far as, you know, what they're going to choose to do there, but that's our recommendation. So you can see the blue line is what it would currently be now. Our recommendation is this blue line where you come out of the camp or you come out of the Hurricane Link campground and you follow this blue trail that's going to take you safely around the range and up to the Florida line. If you're going to be going out, this is what we would recommend as, a, uh, as an alternative route. Uh, eventually, we're hoping the Florida Adventure Trail will get updated and not have that issue. But for now, this would be a good working solution. Hug that passenger. Keep going up. Keep going up. There you go. There's a tree branch over here, so we're trying to avoid it. This part of the trail is within the Blackwater River State Forest. Looking at the map, you'll see that there are tons of trails in this area. And having been there now, we can definitely say that the map does not even begin to show all of the actual trails. You could easily spend a day or two just exploring the different trails in this area. And now that we know that these trails are here, we plan to make another trip to this area just to explore. So here's a few recommendations that we would make to anyone who is planning to do this part of the Florida Adventure Trail. First, stop at the Florida Caverns. We love this stop and we think you will too. Two, take the McCoy Road Bypass of Mashburn Forks Road. Eventually the fat map may change, but for now, be safe and take the bypass. Three, stay at Hurricane Lake. It costs $10 and it's easily one of the best campsites we've ever stayed at. And finally, give yourself time to explore the Blackwater River State Forest. Now we wanna keep these videos relatively short, so we'll end here. But in the next video, we'll finish our time in the Blackwater River State Forest and make our way over to Eglin, which by the way, you do not wanna miss what we have to say about Eglin. We wish we knew what we've since learned, and hopefully you can learn from our mistakes. Until then, be sure to find the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club on Facebook and YouTube, and please help us by sharing this video with others.